Locate your gear motor, gear motor mounting package and appropriate hardware. Your gear motor mounting package has been partially assembled for you. Assembling a center drive gear motor is very much like assembling an end drive gear motor. Locate the conveyor output shaft and remove the tape which holds the key in place. Your gear motor can be mounted in one of two positions. Type 1, vertical, with the gear motor below the center drive module. Or Type 2, the preferred position, horizontal, with the gear motor adjacent to the center drive module. The Type 2 position allows easy access to the center drive module for servicing. Locate and remove the two screws from the adapting plate near the conveyor output shaft. Attach the gear motor to the conveyor with the hardware provided. The timing belt pulley on the gear motor shaft has been installed for you to be properly aligned with the tensioning bearing. Install the driven pulley on the conveyor output shaft and, using a straight edge, align with the tensioning bearing and gear motor pulley. Install the timing belt and, depending on the conveyor belt travel, tension accordingly. It's important to ensure that the timing belt teeth are properly engaged in both pulleys. Reattach the cover. The center drive module can be relocated if needed. To do that, slightly loosen the mounting clip screws just enough to allow you to slide the center drive module along the bottom of the conveyor frame. Your gear motor will run warm. When properly installed and wired, the gear motor has thermal protection. If you're concerned about the gear motor temperature, take a measurement before contacting Dorner. Dorner may be able to provide a heat sink to help dissipate the gearbox heat. Or Dorner can assist you in troubleshooting mechanical or application problems that could cause extreme gear motor temperature. Dorner's motor controls, as well as other accessories, are easily mountable using the T-slots on the frame of the conveyor. Place the motor control in the appropriate space and tighten the screws back into the T-slot. Like the motor controls, guiding can also be mounted on the frame of the conveyor using the T-slots. Spread out the T-nuts appropriately and place the guiding where you want it. Then tighten the T-nuts to hold the guiding in place. Non-V-guided belts may require a tracking adjustment. When adjusting belt tracking, always adjust the discharge end of the conveyor first. On both sides of the conveyor, loosen the two cam fastening screws. Adjust the cams until the indicator slots are horizontal and facing the end of the conveyor. Then slide the cam assemblies against the head plates and re-tighten the cam fastening screws. On the side which the belt is tracking toward, loosen the head plate fastening screws. With the conveyor running, rotate the tracking cam in small increments until the belt tracks in the center of the conveyor. Then, retighten the head plate fastening screws. Your 2200 conveyor is set up and now ready to perform. This concludes our video instruction. For replacement parts, contact your distributor or Dorner directly. Have your model and serial numbers ready. If you have any questions about Dorner or your conveyor, please contact us at www.dorner.com.